Hello students, today we are going to learn about another new topic in electronics that is wave shaping circuits. With the basic understanding of the working of diodes and transformers, it is very easy to understand more about the wave shaping circuits. So what the wave shaping circuits are, that is wave shaping is the process by which waveforms are altered while passing through the circuit elements such as diodes, resistors, capacitors, inductors, etc. So when a particular type of a waveform when passes through certain circuit elements and some circuit elements are linear circuit elements and others are non-linear. So we will understand more about that in the next slide. But anyway, when it passes through certain circuit elements like diodes, resistors, capacitors, inductors and all, their waveform pattern or their waveform gets altered. If the alteration happens in different waves, ways. and this process is known as wave shaping and the circuits which help in the wave shaping are called the wave shaping circuits. Now let's see what are the different functions which these wave shaping circuits does. First one is they generate one form from the other. So we give one type of waveform and it will generate another type of waveform after passing through this wave shaping circuits. It can limit the voltage level of the waveform to, to some preset values. We can restrict the voltage level such that it doesn't go beyond a particular value. Okay, so that is what we say that is, it can limit the voltage level of the waveform to some preset values. Then it, we can cut off the positive uh, or the negative portions of the input waveform. We know that sinusoidal sine, sine waves or some other kind of waves, they most of them have the positive and negative portions. So you can cut off either one of the portion or you can cut off, a, uh, can not, need not cut off the whole complete positive or negative, a part of that can be cut off. So such features can be carried out. And the fourth one is it can hold the waveform to a particular DC level if the day, if the, or you can say that a waveforms DC level or the level of the waveform, the voltage level can be improvised or it can be shifted. So these are the basic functions which a, a wave shaping circuit does. Okay. Next, we are talking about the types of wave shaping circuits. There are two types basically. One is linear circuits and the other one is non-linear wave shaping circuit. So in linear wave shaping circuit, uh, we make use of inductors, capacitors and resistors basically. And the main, of main functions which it does is in differentiation and integration. This you will learn little later. But the basic thing it does is uh, the numerical integration, the integration can be done on the waveform. Uh, mathematical integration or mathematical differentiation can be done on the waveform. You can get the differentiated or the integrated waveform while passing through these linear circuits. Now, I'll show you what basically a linear circuit means. Here, drawn as a linear circuit because it consists of a resistor and an inductor. So when after that, you can see that what is the waveform. So waveform, output waveform, if you measure, that will be of a kind of a linear relation between the voltage and the current. So the current and the voltage is linearly related across any, any um, circuit element uh, in a linear circuit. So this is what we mean by a linear circuit because we the voltage and the current is related linearly. Now we'll see what a non-linear circuit means. Non-linear circuit means it consists of diodes and transistors. And uh, basically we understand that it work against the, or it is it works not like a linear circuit that the voltage and the current relation may not be linear here. And uh, the basic circuits which does use this non-linear circuits are for clipping circuits and clamping circuits. Clipping means is basically to remove off or chop off a part, a part of the waveform. A clamping means you can shift the DC level of the circuits. And for this of the waveform, and for this particular action or for 
performing these particular tasks clipping or clamping mostly non linear circuits or non linear circuits are used and non linear circuits make use of diodes or transistors as circuit elements here i'm showing a non linear circuit where you have a non linear circuit how you and identified it as a non linear non linear circuit because we have a diode here and you have learned about the diode properties right the voltage and the current or we have learned about the forward characteristics of the reverse characteristics where you can see that the output from a diode if we plot the voltage and the current the relation between the two is not linear it is non linear this is a non linear behavior shown so these when when a current passes through a diode or a transistor and the current and the voltage will not vary linearly so it will have a non linear behavior so that is why we consider the circuits where which uses diodes and transistors as non linear circuits so a wave shaping circuit can be of two types it can be of linear type circuit or non linear circuit linear circuit make use of inductors capacitors or resistors and non linear circuits circuit mostly uses diodes and transistors now uh, we are going to see more about the non linear wave shaping circuits and uh, a circuit which in which the waveform is altered by transmitting through a non linear circuit is a non linear wave shaping circuit if a if in if through a circuit a uh, waveform passes through and the waveform is changed in such a way that the it is uh, the voltage and the current is non linearly related we can say that kind of a wave shaping circuit as a non linear wave shaping circuit and we studied that clipping and clamping circuits are are two types of non linear wave shaping circuits and the uh, main purpose why we use diodes and transistors as the are that we know that diodes is can be switched on and off it has on mode and off mode when it is positively biased it will it will get Uh, it it will be in the on mode or if it is reverse bias it will be in the off mode so that switching property of a diode and transistor also has such kind of a property it can be used as switches you might have studied that so the switching property of the diodes and the transistors basically help in clipping or clamping properties so this is the introduction uh, about the wave shaping circuits in the next session we will learn more about clipping circuits now one more thing i will just share with you why do we have a wave shaping circuit is it so important yes it's very important because in electronics especially in kind of telecommunication for example in reception radio reception part or in a tv reception part or uh, in radars uh, so in all these things in basically telecommunication field uh, such circuitries are very important for example you can understand the differentiation differentiation and the integration they are very important for high frequency differentiation differentiator is very important to detect high frequency components or for analog to digital we know what an analog um, circuit is what is a digital circuit and in analog and digital analog to digital conversion if it hap if it to happen if it has to happen in a telecommunication mostly integrators are used and uh, we know that clipping this particular task is usually performed in when, when we have unusual spikes or unnecessary spikes or un unnecessary noise we may have to chop off the unnecessary part so for that clipping signal clipping circuits are used and for clamping is a main thing which we use in reception part of tv signals where you actually uh, improvise or shift the voltage of the uh, signal so all these uh, wave shaping circuitry is very very important in telecommunication and tv and radio reception and uh, part so we have to keep in mind that this is an important topic in electronics so with this basic introduction i am um, winding up the session so we'll see in the next session thank you very much